Hey everyone, and welcome to the current episode of How Do I? Tonight, we're going to answer how do I reply to an email message and make it a meeting at the same time. If you notice on my uh, email message here, I've gone back and forth. Again, this is between my uh, couple of different accounts that I have at TLC Tech. Uh, but this particular one, I've gone back and forth with my .us and my .com account. So in this one, my .com emailed and sent to me and said, hey, we need a meeting. I wrote back, great, what do we need to discuss? We've got the agenda here that he put in here. Now, typically, I want to be able to keep this meeting. I want to schedule the meeting and I want to have the agenda in the, the meeting agenda. So oftentimes I'd copy and paste this, but there's a much easier way to do this. If you notice when I go up on my reply, respond, normally you do reply or reply to all. Right here, you've got this reply with meeting. So what that does is you just hit reply to meeting, brings up a meeting. It's already invited the person that the email message was sent from. I can choose my different dates, but what's really cool is it's also kept the entire email thread embedded inside of the meeting. Now, let's say I wanted to make this a Teams meeting. That's simple. I just click up here, click Teams, bam, that makes it a Teams meeting. But I still have my original thread here inside of the calendar invite. So it's again, it's a really easy way. All you have to do is with inside of your Microsoft Outlook, use the meeting, uh, reply with meeting. That'll copy, it'll take the subject line from the message, turn it into the title of the meeting, and it'll copy everything over from your uh, email thread as well. Now, if you're web-based, all you have to do is open up the email message. Uh, right here, you can see that I'm in a web browser because I'm at outlookoffice.com. I opened this up from my other window. So now what I want to do, reply, you would think it's there. It's a little bit different on the web-based. From here, over here, you have to reply, reply to all forward. But if you use the ellipses, again, remember the three ellipses every time you're web-based in Microsoft 365, the three ellipses are going to give you a lot more stuff. So you click on those and you've got more of these options here. But one of them is other reply actions. Reply all by meeting. Go ahead and do this. Again, it sends, it creates a meeting invite. Uh, I haven't sent this yet. There's the subject line. Here's the time, start time, everything. So I can do this. I'm gonna do this for next day at, let's say, 2.30. Repeat all of those. Now, if you also notice over here, I do have, it shows suggested times. If you are sending this to an email, of people within your office, you'll be able to, it'll automatically come up with times that are available and open for all of you. You just hit send, everything's done. So it behaves exactly the same way. So again, all you have to do is if you're web-based, hit the three ellipses, go to other reply actions, reply to all by meeting, or if you're in your Outlook desktop application, you simply hit reply with meeting and it does the same thing. If you have any questions, let us know. I'm always looking to do more of these. So if there's anything you wanted to know, how do I do something, send me an email to mnelson at tlctech.com. Thanks, everyone.